Hello, and thank you for watching this video on how to use Amazon Comprehend with the .NET Framework. I am Thor Giddings, a Senior Solutions Architect here at AWS. Amazon Comprehend is a natural language processing service that uses deep learning to find insights and relationships in text with no machine learning knowledge required. Many companies have valuable information locked away in unstructured places like document stores, reviews and comments fields, and customer service records. This information can provide valuable insights into your products and your customers, but are not stored in a way to be easily searched or grouped upon in a meaningful way. With Amazon Comprehend, you can easily extract entities, people's places or things, do sentiment analysis, extract key phrases, do topic modeling, language detection, syntax analysis, and even document classification. The great thing is all you need is an AWS account to get started. No complex networking, setup, or long-term contracts needed. It is a highly available, reliable, scalable, and fault-tolerant service, and you pay per use. So whether you call it 10 times, 100 times, or 100,000 times, you never have to worry about the back-end architecture. AWS does the undifferentiated heavy lifting for you. So let's get started. Here is a simple console project that I've created to demonstrate how easy it is to get started using Amazon Comprehend. I have the AWS Toolkit installed in my Visual Studio environment. It isn't required, but it'll make your life a whole lot easier as you interact with AWS resources in the future. Additionally, I've created a AWS uh, profile that's linked to my AWS account and my permission set. Let's take a look at the NuGet packages we're using with this solution. A great thing about AWS, as the name implies, is Amazon Web Services. All the resources and services are managed through an API. And the great thing about being a .NET developer and using AWS is that AWS creates NuGet packages for all of the different services and resources that are available. It makes it very easy to consume them being a .NET developer. You can see in this solution, we're using the AWS SDK.comprehend NuGet package. So now let's take a look at what the code actually does. I've created some random phrases that you might see in a product review. And then I'm doing sentiment analysis on each of those. So I have things such as, I hate this product, best product ever, uh, what is this product used for, and good but not great. And you'll see in my get sentiment code, all I have to do is create the comprehend client, which is one line, specifying the region that I'm using, create a detect sentiment request, give it the text that I want to do sentiment analysis on, the language code for the language that it's written in, and then get the result. What this will do is it will return the overall sentiment the total positive score, negative score, neutral score, and mixed score. So let's go ahead and run the code. So for the statement, I hate this product, it was overall negative with a 98.5% negative score. For the best product ever, it was a positive statement with a 98.54% score. With a, what is it this product used for? You'll see that it is a neutral uh, sentiment with a neutral sentiment score of 83.7%. And finally, good but not great is a mixed uh, sentiment. And the mixed sentiment score is 80.97%. So as you can see, it's very easy to start using Amazon Comprehend. And in today's example, I showed you how to do sentiment analysis, but it's just as easy to do any of the other functions of Comprehend, such as entity extraction, key phrase extraction, topic modeling, language detection, syntax analysis, and document classification. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Thank you for watching. Thank you.